brings us to a, a, a very timely topic, of course, which is anti-Semitism. And many of the British Jewish community have said they have noticed a step change in the level of hostility. Have you noticed that, and does that worry you? Well, I noticed it because our youngest daughter actually encountered this when she was at university. And I found this deeply shocking because I have not, had not, and have not experienced a single episode of anti-Semitism in my life. And I'm not exactly low profile. You know, chief rabbis are fairly known to be Jewish for the most part. But it, it is there, actually. And of course, it's always in a new form because anti-Semitism is so socially unacceptable that it can only survive the way a virus survives, which is by mutating. In the Middle Ages, Jews were hated for their religion. In the 19th and 20th centuries, you weren't allowed to hate anyone for their religion, because this is post-Enlightenment Europe. So they were hated for their race. Today, you can't hate anyone for their race, so you hate them for their nation state. And that is why anti-Zionism is the new anti-Semitism. But this gets to the heart of, an, of a difficulty that some people are feeling about this whole chat about anti-Semitism, because there are some people who feel incredibly strongly about the state of Israel and things they don't like about it, particularly mm. settlements and things. Um, and they feel that the charge of anti-Semitism mm. is effectively being used to kind of put a sort of moral question over mm. their hostility mm. to Israel. Mm. The a group of school kids asked me just that question a yeah. week ago. And I said, tell me, hands up, which of you believes it's legitimate to criticize the British government? They all put their hands up. I said, which of you believes that, the, that Britain has no right to exist? Nobody put their hands up. I said, now you know the difference between criticism of the state of Israel and anti-Semitism. How surprised have you been about the traumas the Labour Party has been through with Ken Livingston and the charges of anti-Semitism? How serious do you think a problem the party has? I think the problem is so simple. Just practice zero tolerance the way you would to any other kind of unacceptable prejudice. So just do it and the problem is solved. Lord Sachs, Jonathan Sachs, thank you very much. Thank you.